Hey there, marketing research students and SPSS users. In this brief tutorial, I'd like to show you a cool technique, a cool tool that's available in SPSS. It's called the Visual Binning Tool. And what it's going to do for us is we're going to take a interval scaled variable and reorganize these uh, the respondents into percentile groups and we create a new variable based on those percentile groups. So let's go into SPSS. We're again using our Spring 2014 craft beer data set. And our variable here is the subjective knowledge merge recode variable. And if you recall, what this variable is, is it's the average of the other six subjective beer knowledge questions that we asked people about here. Oops, I'm sorry. Here. Where people who score high on this indicate that they have high level of subjective knowledge about craft, uh, craft beer. People who score low have low subjective knowledge about craft beer. I'm going to run a quick frequency table on subjective knowledge and take a look at the chart. Make sure we have a bar chart selected with percentages and run this. And as you can see here, the distribution of individuals is, is, is interesting. We have relatively few people who are very low, have very low scores on subjective knowledge, where we have a relatively high percentage of people who score very, very high on their perceived subjective knowledge of craft beer. And again, we're never shocked here as marketers that people think they know a lot of things about a topic. However, right now we still have all these average scores in their original scale, so from one to five. What we might like to have instead is a relative ranking of these individuals on their subjective score based on, say, percentile groups. So we'd like to have people who are in the lowest 10% versus people who are in the highest 10% on their scores of subjective knowledge. There's an easy way to do this in SPSS. If we go to data, oh, my apologies, we go to transform, and we go to a tool called visual binning. Now for the visual binning tool, we select the variable that we'd like to have binned. We're going to put this in a bucket so we grab our variable here. Go ahead and hit continue. It scans all these values and we see a lot of stuff. First of all, we see our distribution of our data. And we have a series of things we have to ask, we have to tell uh, the visual binning tool to do for us. First of all, what we'd like to do is take these original scores and now we'd like to have people each individual placed into a relative decile. A decile is when we take the data and cut it into 10 percentile groups. Ten, the tenth, uh, one being 1 to 10 percent, 2 being 11 to 20 percent, 3 being 30, uh, 30, uh, 31 to 40 percent, and so on. So we type in the name of our new binned variable. We'll call it um, subjective knowledge uh, deciles. That's our name. Our label, we'll give it a new label, um, decile of respondent on subjective knowledge questions. We'll make cut points and we will select the equal percentile based on scan cases. So we click here. And if we want decile groups, that means each width of each decile should be 10%. See how it says width and percentage? So we'll type in 10 here, which means we need nine cut points. It takes nine cut points to create 10 groups. Let's go ahead and hit apply. Based on the analysis, look at where the cut points are. This is important. Notice how they're not equally spaced. It takes, remember, we noticed that there were way fewer people who ranked really low on subjective knowledge. So it takes a relatively wider bin to grab that first 10% of data. Whereas over here, we had a lot of people in that moderate to high subjective knowledge group. So it took a relatively narrow bin to grab 10% of the total data. We can offer some, we can also add in labels here. So we'll say uh, we could put low uh, uh, subjective knowledge. We can call this the highest group, the high subjective knowledge, and so on. We could label all of them if we wanted to. I'm going to choose not to. We could hit paste if we wanted to save the syntax, or we could just hit OK and run it. I'm just going to hit OK and run it. Reading specification, specifications will create one variable. OK. So we look at our output. Things have ran. We can look at our results here. And sure enough, we see people in a, a bunch of different buckets. So we would imagine that people are in the lowest decile of one should have very relatively low scores, sure enough. 
and people who are in the 10th group should have high scores or enough. Let's go ahead and go to Analyze, Descriptive Statistics, and Frequencies. And let's take a look at the frequency chart for our new variable. Compare it to our old variable. And there's our new deciles. Now when you look at this, one of the things that should jump out to you is you would have expected that each one of our new deciles should be the exact same size, right? 10%. That's not necessarily going to be the case because they have to resolve ties in a certain way. So the way that the particular algorithm in our case resolved the ties, it resulted in a disproportionately greater amount of our data in our seventh decile group and lesser data in our sixth decile group. This can happen. Um, these will tend to smooth out in the long run uh, in situations where we collect a large amount of data with a lot of small increments in between. But in this case, we only had 200 cases. Um, we did not have enormous amounts of precision between our increments. It was only the average of six variables. So we shouldn't be too shocked to see this. But we should always remember to keep in mind that even though we tried to split the data by deciles, we didn't actually reach a perfect 10% split for every single decile. Now we have a new recoding of our variable that does allow us to sort of rank order compare different participants. It's a different type of coding than we saw previously. This can be useful for an enormous number of different marketing applications. In many marketing situations, we might not be interested in someone's absolute score. We're more interested in how they scored compared to other peer groups.